Oh, hi, buddy. Hi. Roo, roo. How's that? Yeah? You want to come up? That's me. That's me. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, happy Sunday, everybody. No, you can't eat that. <laughs> I thought it would stick a little longer. <laughs> Remember that feeling when you were a kid and you would stare at a photo of one of your heroes um, who is who looked to be so perfectly who you wanted to be? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of the glare out of there. Yeah, this was one of mine. <laughs> when I was a kid on ABC, there was a show called Kids Are People Too. And, you know, I'm sure they were doing it for the publicity, but man, that seeing seeing Robin and Rick on that show meant a lot to me. Um, I mean, I don't know if you realize how cool it is to to have a band this cool be on a kid show. And they weren't condescending. They were funny and charming. And the host um, asked kids in the audience uh, or gave the mic to kids in the audience and they asked them questions and they were funny and uh, weren't trying to be overly cutesy um and to be able to watch that and not worry about like the pmrc or you know some suburban mom anti-vaxxer you know send your kids to an august death camp you know zucker book group <laughs> it's, it's kind of mind-blowing to have like state heroes you know, on kids' TV when you're 10 years old and they're just blowing up worldwide. And then here comes Off-Broadway and Survivor and, man, that's good energy. That's like, I, I would see stuff like that and I could slay dragons with that power, man. <laughs> that is just pure love. It's, oh, man, it's, I don't know. There's, you know... Someday there'll be some university professor watching this, like rolling his eyes. You know, it's going to be a dude. Um, <laughs> a couple of my UIC lit favorites wouldn't, uh, they'd understand. <laughs> I mean, okay, the dudes in Cheap Trick, they had the Beatles on TV live in their family rooms, right? I wasn't even born yet, so this is my fucking Beatles. Um, okay, Boomer? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, I had corporate box seats to the Stones at Soldier Field in 2018, and I make six figures a year, and yeah, go home, Dad. You're, oh, wait, you are home. <laughs> You want, you want a humble brag come full circle? We were at space a couple of years ago doing a sound check. And I think I was I think I was playing the lap steel for a minute. And this guy walks up. You know, it's just a couple people in the club staff milling about the room at that point. And he goes, oh, you know, I've, I've made a, that's a nice lap steel. I've made a couple of those. I was like, oh, you know, I, I, reached my hand out to shake his hand. I said, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. He goes, I'm Paul Hamer. <laughs> Can we talk for an hour? <laughs> he disappeared. We played our show. <laughs> the, the 2020 that was in my head around January uh, would have you know, would have been me and, you know, Gerald and Dave doing this song right about now in the Fitzgerald sidebar with Steve Frisbee up there doing like a stunt vocal, right? I mean, uh, 
Well, as it stands, I'm going to do this song today, and you're just going to have to pretend I'm your Robin Tom brown-eyed handsome man. <laughs> I got an idea, though. All you, like, all you, like, XRT baseball-loving, sports-missing dudes out there, here's what you do. All right. You remember Stratomatic, right? Um, how about you guys come up with some like fantasy rock league? <laughs> you can mix and match your favorite musicians and songs and bands and just sort of imagine what it would sound like, you know, right? You're the manager. You can you can assemble all these different combinations of players and you know, we've all seen like the the ultimate band in heaven with like, you know, Prince on guitar and Bonham on drums or what have you, you know, it's, it's, it's all in your head and your heart. Just go ahead and, you know, imagine it. <laughs> uh, I have, I have long said that Robin Zander is not of this planet. I'm, I'm not sure Steve Frisbee is either. <laughs> I'm still checking on that one, <laughs> but he's not here. So you're stuck with me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do this track that they did on that that show and thanks to the well you can you can find it on YouTube now which is which is awesome um, I mean to be a kid and and these album covers you know that went from you know the the hunks on one side to the to these guys in the back I mean I wanted to be all four of them you know in some combination way shape or form it was just like it was everything i loved about rock and roll you know it was just attitude and funny and you know guitars 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 and hooks and melodies um yeah i'm gushing again <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go recreate the voices in my head here, and I hope everybody is <laughs> doing well. <laughs> You were looking for 
Johnny.